Okay, so for the first part of the test then, I'm in a super view mode. So basically, when you're in this mode with the max lens mod, you've only got two fields of view open to you, and that is the super view and also the wide. Now, I wouldn't normally shoot with super view, but because I'm testing these things, I might as well test it whilst I'm at it. Plus also as well, it's arguable that the wider the field of view that you're using here, the better the picture quality is gonna be because there's less punching into the sensor. And of course, when we're in this particular mode, our max resolution is only 2.7K. So we are definitely not gonna be shooting with the same type of resolution we would be if we were in 4K or 5K. And for those who are interested, my basic settings here for the GoPro are ISO set from 100 up to 400, and also the shutter is set to auto. Now between that ISO range and the shutter being on auto, especially for the conditions that I'm in here, that should give the exposure routine the best kind of setting it can do, you know, within like those automatic settings. Because don't forget, when I do these things, I generally go for full on automatic as far as any of the exposure routine is concerned. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty stupid trying to go manual when you're vlogging, when you're trying to talk to the camera. Then also when you go and dipping in and out of different lighting conditions, you'd have to be stopping all the time and changing it least one part of that exposure routine so yeah as far as the exposure is concerned that's it there now i'm also in gopro color as well and the reason for that is, is because i really do need to try and get used to gopro color and um, because it's obviously the fastest way to edit gopro footage because you're not having to tool about with it in post-production as you would do with say you know the flat mode and stuff like that However, what I would say is it almost becomes a bit of a farce when you're in GoPro color and you do try to touch it up in post with the color corrector because something to do with the color, maybe mad green grass or orange flared skin is kind of doing your head in that much that you've got to go and grade it anyway, or at least try and kind of desaturate something. So I don't know if, if actually working in GoPro color is actually easier than shooting a flat mode on it. Now, just to round off this first take in super view, modes what i'm gonna do here is just show you actually how close the gopro is to me so all this time i've been doing this particular take the gopro has been very close to me because i've got a bend in my arm now that there is full arm's length away i'm just looking in the monitor there you know the little front screen that is a tremendous field of view considering how close that gopro is however that's the distance that I would normally use a GoPro with a bend in my arm. And the reason why I do that is because it's so easy to walk around for ages talking. And if you talk loads like me, that's a big deal. So what I'm going to do now is just test to see exactly how good this horizon level thing is. Now, so far, obviously, we should have been able to have seen some pretty tremendous stabilization going on. But check this out. That is now the GoPro upside down. You can probably see my arm now in the top of the frame. So that's me coming back around that way. So I'm just gonna twist it around. Now, not that you would go out and start vlogging doing this, twisting the camera around. So I know that there's gonna be people who are gonna be thinking, well, hold on Dave, just how useful is this function to a vlogger? Cause unless you're gonna be doing this with your vlogging, spinning your arms around and all kinds of mad stuff like that, you're probably not gonna get the benefits of it. However, I will get onto that now when I switch over to the narrower mode. Okay, so I'm into wide now. And for this particular setup with this lens, I suppose this is gonna give us our closest approximation to say something like linear mode when we're not using this max lens mod. Okay, so why would you want to use it then if you're not intending to go out and go like all mad with your arm all over the place and stuff like that? Well, what it is, it might just be the fact that because there's another piece of glass in front of the GoPro, the tone of the picture might change and if it does it could be a tonal difference that you might like so i'm not saying you would strictly want to be using it just for its basic function of this ultra wide field of view thing or to be able to do you know the horizon lock mode stuff and all that it might just be because there's a particular tone to the picture that you like now even if there isn't any kind of mad aesthetics to do with the tone and stuff of the picture when you're using this it may well be that the stabilization actually really does help with it and also as well for anybody who is going to be getting a bit rugged and stuff and climbing around things and stuff i'm fairly sure that's where the horizon lock and stuff will actually really come into its own but like i say 
there is going to be a hit on the stabilization at the very least with these things so it could well be what you're seeing with the stabilizer is something that you might like a bit better than it not being on so again you know a few things there to think about also on top of that as well i suppose even just the field of view i mean it is going to have slight beveling on the edges and stuff and barreling and things like that but you know a lot of people who shoot with gopros they get used to that and it's almost like that's a part of the picture that they accept anyway so like i say a few things when you put this on which may or may not tickle your fancy and stuff and which may or may not be a reason to use it okay so something that might actually be interesting here i mean the max lens mod mode still with the horizon lock on and stuff but i've took off the lens mod itself so now i'm back to the gopro's lens as is so this is super view in that mode and of course the reason why that mode works with the lens mod is because it needs an ultra wide field of view to cut it right down so we can reshape and whatnot and hold for that center so when it spins it round it stays in place so we can do this with the lens as it stands but the big difference is look how close i am to the lens and stuff now i don't know as well whether or not the pictures will have changed that much either but this is in the widest super view mode now check this out this is now wide mode with the standard lens on so as we can see the field of view right now is probably something like you get on a sony zv1 which just isn't at all good for vlogging okay so let me just flip over to my normal setting now and i'll finish off and kind of do a bit of a summary here with me normal gopro settings in linear mode okay so just to finish off the video then i am back to my usual setting here so this is 5k linear mode still obviously 25 frames a second the frame rate makes no difference whatsoever to all the other settings anyway that's just the frame rate that you're going to choose for like whatever country you live in or, or just aesthetically whether you think 24 actually makes any difference from 25 anyways yeah so there we go so i'm now back into my normal modes and how does this look now there's a couple of things to bear in mind here and that is all the way through this video what you will have been seeing will have been coming from an upscaled 5k version and the reason for that is, is because this last bit right now this is 5k native obviously the recording so despite the fact that i've been recording in 2.7k with all the other takes what i've done in post i've edited all that in 5k so we're definitely going to feel something from that upscaling as as well however do we see much of a difference here with this being now in its 5k mode native and stuff now i am going to imagine that there will be differences between the picture quality of when it was in the 2.7k resolution with the max lens mod on compared to what it looks like now but with all these things it, it really is just down to personal taste at the end of the day so if things do drop off or if things do change and stuff do they drop off and change enough for you to dislike them or is there a usefulness to do with a something which means that it's best using it than not using it so you know it's up to the individual to make their own mind up about these things and of course right now i can't make my mind up about anything because all i've been doing is looking at this stuff on this dodgy little front lcd on the gopro which doesn't even play at the right frame rates anyway anyway so i think that'll probably do it for this video then so yeah let us know in the comments below what you think of the differences are there enough differences there for you to warrant using things or to not use them and stuff like that also as well get all over me gopro stuff there'll be some crap flashing up on the screen to do with where you can buy gopro stuff from also my gopro playlist which is at www.gopro9.com also if you've liked the video please consider giving it a big thumbs up if you've really liked the video subscribe to my channel and all that stuff anywho i've got to get off because i've got a big bag of microphones here so i've actually come out with this gopro my zv1 to do some stuff so if you're interested in some of my things check out the video after this one or a couple of videos after this one hopefully there's going to be something quite interesting interesting to do with using the internal mic as i have been on this video compared to using external microphones anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now